How's it going everyone? It's Blender Binge here and today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to go about creating hair for characters inside of Blender. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we are inside the 3D viewport and as you can see I have my character hair and he has no hair. So if I go to the cycles render really quick, you'll see that the character is bald, he has no hair, no eyebrows, anything. So let's go back into solid shading mode. Now there are, there are a couple of different ways to go about creating hair. One being uh, you can weight paint the hair or two you can create a vertex group using um, a grouped uh, faces. So in this video I'll be showing you group faces versus the weight paint. Weight paint I'll show you that in another video because uh, if I were to put it in this video do both of them the video will be twice as long and um, you'll get the basic gist of it with just this video. So without further ado um, first you want to select the object that you want the hair to be applied to and then let's go to press tab to enter edit mode and at this top left corner you see we have um, these different modes we can go into vertices and you'll see uh, you can see a bunch of dots you have edge mode where you can select the dots or select the edges and then uh, face select mode where you can select faces which are the squares now what we want to be in is face mode or face selection and selecting a group of um, squares. Now to select them you can go to the top left corner here where it says select and you can left click hold and you have different selecting options. And The one we want to use is select lasso. So um, once we have that and we are in face mode we can just drag around the area which we want the hair to be applied to and let go then you'll see that it's selected. But if you rotate around the back you'll see that the back isn't selected we can only select the areas that uh, we can actually see in the camera. Now to go about fixing that you want to press Alt Z to go to X-ray select mode and more often than not you want to be in the side view so you can just round and then select the areas you want this way. But for my character this won't work because my head is actually tilted so I won't actually have a great um, selection. So if you rotate around you'll see that it's, um, it's not even. I could also put mirror on but my character head is not symmetrical. So now that you have your selection press Alt Z to exit x-ray mode and now we need to group this selection. So to go about grouping this you want to go down to the um, object data properties which is this icon here and once you select that you have to go to where it says vertex group hit the plus sign and create a new group. Now once you have this group here you can double click it and change it to whatever you want. So I'll change it to hair. Press enter. Now I need to assign these um, these faces to this group and you can do that by pressing assign. Now that we have that assigned if we deselect you'll know it's working by pressing select. So once you hit select, it's there. You hit deselect, it goes away. That's how you know it's working. But if you have more than one group, you have to name them properly, uh, properly and then you can select which one and then press select. So now that we know that that's working, what we want to do is exit out of edit mode by pressing tab. Now that we're back in object mode, we can go to the uh, particle um, properties, which is this icon here. And now we have to hit the plus sign to create a new particle system. Now you don't see anything now but if you press hair you'll notice the hair is here and if you don't see this hair like this it's probably because you didn't go back to object mode so if you go back to edit mode you'll see that you can't see anything. So just be aware of the mode you're in. So now the hair is dispersed all over the object and we want it to just be on the hair so to fix that remember we're still in the properties um, the particle properties you want to scroll down to the bottom where it says vertex group and where it says density you want to select this area here and select hair which is that group that we created. Now one thing I just want to mention is to work with hair you're only going to be in two different modes here and that's the data the object data properties or the particle properties that's it. Now once you have that we're back in the you know the particle tab here and if you scroll up to the top Right underneath uh, hair you see emissions and this is where you can select the number of hairs to be on your model. So if you want to 
decrease it by left clicking and dragging to the left you'll see that the strands start to dissipate so a good number is somewhere around 800 to 1000 so I'll do 800 and seed is basically a randomizer so it randomly disperses these amongst the object in the area you selected hair length is what it says and entails the, the length of the hair so dragging it to the left you'll have more of a buzz cut to bald dragging it to the right you'll have longer hair so once you're satisfied um, you can just yeah just let it go now segments are basically segments of the hair which you can't see right now but so don't don't really worry about that so anywhere from three to five is fine for this range of hair if you want longer hair you want more flexibility you definitely want to bring this up now if you scroll down to where it says uh, children this is a really important part if not the most important because if you just leave the children at none and you try to render this so really quick if I go to cycles render you'll see the hair is really straight and he looks pretty bald and that's because you can't see the children right because it says no children so what we want to do is go back to solid um, shading mode and if we change it from none to simple or interpolated you'll see you have a lot more hair so if you go to render this you can actually see that there's a lot more strands now so let's go back to solid shading mode and display amount is the, the amount that's displayed and it's in increments of 10 so if you were to decrease this you'll see that the numbers start to dissipate see so there's none there's a lot more in the viewport and 14 is um, a lot I think that's fine and um, if you go to length you can actually change the length of this as well so if you want this amount this looks good let's just keep it to something around here and uh, threshold you're not touching the seed is for randomizer as well now if you go down to uh, hair shape you can change the thickness of each strand so some people hair is thicker than others if you want it to be uh, overall length you can leave it and uh, up the tip so the tip is the, the tip of the hair you want it to be as small as possible so you'll just leave that the same and um, if you want to start adjusting the hair and making the hair go down you can do um, that kind of stuff in the grooming but also where it says kink you have options to change the the texture of the hair so if you want it to be curly you can go to curl then you can change the amplitude to something more drastic or less drastic and you see it's kind of sharp and it's because it doesn't have so many steps and segments so if you increase the segments you have more flexibility it's just like a spline so just keep that in mind so I'll leave mine at nothing for now and uh, actually I'll, I'll put a little curl to it but you can play with these guys this you're not gonna you know really be that knowledgeable if you don't play with it so now that we have this here we can change the clumps and um, things like that to make it more uh, clumpy change the frequency which is basically like the amplitude at a different rate now we have this hair here is a little bit curly now we want to style this so to style the hair what you want to do is go from object mode to particle edit mode and now now you see we have this uh, brush here and at the top you can adjust the radius or the strength and here on the left side we have options where you can choose a comb which allows you to comb the hair and then you have options to smooth it out and you can smooth it you can add hair um, change the length of the hair so if we choose length if we go to the top you have the option to make it grow or shrink so if we want to shrink the hair it's on shrink now so we can go to the side here and shrink that shrink the sides also um, if you want to grow if you want to grow you can do the same thing so vice versa and really quick if you don't have this tab pulled up you can just hit in on the keyboard which pulls this up and if you go to um, tool or um, which one is it let me see if I can go to yeah go to tool you have the options here as well so you can set um, symmetry on and things like that if you need to so if you're going to comb uh, you have different options and you see that they're changing here as well so now that we have this here if we wanted to mirror this we can mirror it as well but I don't want to mirror it I'm just showing you guys for example so let's go to comb and let's change the strength 
a lot higher and we could also change the radius to be a little bit bigger and let's just start to comb the hair down basically just brushing the hair and this can be really fun depending on you know um, how much knowledge you have in the area it makes it a lot better because you can style this and a lot of people really can't do it because they don't understand it and um, if you want to see the vertices and the segments you can go here as well and you can see what you're actually affecting because this isn't what you're actually affecting the hair strands you're actually affecting these segments so once you're satisfied just keep doing this you know get a style that you're um, satisfied with and once you are satisfied we can start to um, render this I think I'm satisfied with this it has a nice little look to it so um, really quick if you try to go to cycles and render this what you're gonna get is single hair strands which you don't want and this is namely due to the fact that you're not in object mode remember you always have to be in object mode to see the hair so let's change it from particles to object now if we go to render this you'll see that we have the hair that we were looking at right So let's go back to solid shading and say we don't want that hair to be black we want to add a new material so to add a material to the hair is the same thing as anything else let me hit in really quick to get rid of this panel because i don't want to see this right now um to add materials you know you just go to the material um properties tab here and what you want to do is select that and once that's selected you can hit the plus sign and then press new and now you're going to get a principal B bsdf shader and what we want to do is add a hair principal BSDF. So select where it says surface and let's choose hair where the hair BSDF or we want principal hair B BSDF because it's the new version, right? And then off the back, it gives you a nice hair color, but let's change this color to maybe a lighter color. So this looks fine. Let's change it more to the brown side and, um, now we have to assign this material so let's change this name from material 2 to tutorial hair so I'll put tut hair I'll hit enter and now I want to go back to the particle um, properties and let's scroll up to the top so we can go to render right here it says render and this is material right now it's set to face which is the material that I have for the skin but we're going to change that to tut hair and choose the one that you guys created for yourself and then just go to cycles and you can see the the color is now applied to the hair so just have fun with this guys and this is uh, one way of doing hair inside of uh, blender in the next video I'll show you guys how to weight paint hair which is um, probably the more professional way of adding hair and it's a lot easier so if you guys like this tutorial give it a thumbs up uh, comment if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and turn on those notifications so and I'll catch you guys next time.